Good day everyone, my name is Victor Lofa. I am a professional photographer and also a student of Pharmacy University of Ibadan. I should have been done since March, but due to the pandemic, I'm still here anyway. So, I was asked to talk about photography and I'd like to talk about it in four different segments. Um, how I started, my journey so far, and requirements to start up if you're interested in photography and the influence of photography on me. So. Uh, how I started. I started photography in 200 level and I started because I just wanted to take good pictures. I just wanted to create. I always had this artistic side before pharmacy and I wanted to keep pushing that and I did not want pharmacy to kill that completely. So I never really started because I was trying to make it into a business. I just wanted to, you know, take good pictures. And when people saw I was creating really good content, they started asking for a price and so I had to give them a price and and i've been doing it for about four years now three to four years now and it's been great it's been great so journey so far in relation to my field of pharmacy so while in school it was so tasking i wouldn't lie to you but i was able to pull it off and i believe anybody out there can pull it off too you just have to try you just have to ensure that you have no other options it's not option A or B. It's just one way. Ensure you're successful in both sides of it. So I was really out there because I wanted photography to be, you know, really groundbreaking. And I was ready to push the boundaries, push the limits and all of that. And so, yeah, another thing is I used it to push myself through school and... At some point i did not have to depend on anybody for anything anymore so that was really that was an encouragement for me and it was one of the reasons why i did not stop doing what i was doing and so uh the journey the journey the journey what else do i want to say i mean it's just possible that's the only thing you need to hold on to you could combine pharmacy with any other thing and then still pull it off successfully and the requirements to start i started photography with in Nikon T5, it was a beginner's camera. I'm currently on a professional level, and you could start with anything. You could start with your phone. You could, with 200K, you should be able to get a good startup camera before you proceed. You don't have to have all those equipment and all of that. Yeah, photography is expensive, but you could start small and build yourself up. And if you're really focused, you could just, you know. And the influence on me so far, yeah, well, I've been able to meet a lot of people, networking and all of that. I've been to places I never really saw myself being. And uh, I was, I mean, among politicians, basically, and uh, entertainers, too, musicians and artists and all of that. I've been able to cover some um, photography jobs, like Wedding of Michael O'Con, Nollywood, Atoms, you know, all of those things, anyway. So, and I just, just shut word of encouragement i believe not just photography alone if you're going to push anything you should try to push it regardless of pharmacy because photography is an entity for me on its own and then pharmacy is an entity and basically nigeria is about making multiple sources of income yeah 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 and you want that for yourself yeah i mean you could just push anything if it's sewing makeup have friends who are makeup artists and pharmacy students as well and just push anything basically just push it and believe believe you could actually pull it off and then pro i promise you you're going to pull it off and it'll come out really well so i would include a link below a link of um some of my works if you want to go through it and my instagram handle is victor underscore lofo so i'll just include that link so you can check it out if you have any other questions you could ask me and Thanks for watching.